Again, welcome to All Life Mass TV. My name is Remis Dix Animal, and today we have another challenge on um, circle geometry. Okay, why well, we bring in more of this circle geometry because uh, it's a recommended question, and uh, we want to solve this simple challenge. Here we have a diagram already. Let's read what is uh, beneath it. It said in the figure above, the line segment XT. Let's trace out our ST, XT is a target to the two circles at X and T, okay? O and Q are the centers of the circles with OX equal to 5. Look at our OX equal to 5 and QT, uh, QT equal to 2CM and OQ, OQ equal to 40CM. Find XT, XT. Okay, so before we take our solution, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button, okay, so that you can get our new videos once they are uploaded. Okay, so let's take our solution to this challenge. So we have solution. Now, from this diagram, we have two circles here. We are going to make use of uh, the transverse common uh, target to two circles. That's the theory we are going to make use of. Okay, and if we are to make use of that theory, it says that um, your O, Q, we can split this into two. So if I decide to label this, if I decide to give this midpoint M, okay, so the theory says that your, uh, your uh, M O all over your M Q equal to your uh, o x all over your q t that's what it says so let's put down that theory okay so from that theory we're going to have here your m can say line m or all over your line m q line m q equal to your line which is this very one your o x O X all over your Q T line Q T. Okay, so from this children, what is our M O? We go to our diagram. Look at M O. We don't know M O, and we don't know our um, M Q, but we know our O Q. Okay, since we know the whole of our OQ, which is 40 cm. I want to label our MQ X. I want to give this X. So if this is X, automatically our MO is going to be 14 minus X. Okay. So if we have this, now let's come back to our formula here. MO, which is MO, is 14 minus X. So we have here 14 minus x all over mq mq is x all over x equal to ox ox is 5 cm so 5 all over qt qt is 2 cm simple okay it's a theorem now from here we can cross multiply so let's put it in writing so cross multiply cross multiply cross multiply if we cross multiply we're going to have here 2 into 14 minus x equal to 5x all right what we do here we have to open up this bracket so if we open bracket we're going to have here our 28 minus 2x equal to 5s collecting lightness will give us 28 equal to 5x plus 2x so automatically, when we rearrange after the summation, this will now give us 7x equal to 28. Divide through by 7. So if we divide here by 7, divide by 7, the dx we go, dx we go, this here, and this here will give us 4. So therefore, rx is equal to 4cm. Wow. So what does that imply? Meaning from m to q which is x is 4 cm and from your o to m which is 14 minus 
x is going to give us 10 cm. Very simple. If we look at this critically, then this is 90 degree. Year automatically is known, and year is known. Okay. If we consider triangle uh, X O M or M O X, that is a right angle triangle. So if it is a right angle triangle and two sides are known, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem or Pythagoras formula. So from here, let's say considering considering triangle M O X M O X. So if you consider triangle MOX, we are going to have this, which is the longest side now, as the hypotenuse. This is going to give us here your MO. So we have here line MO squared equal to big other side here, OX, line OX, like OX squared plus line mx line mx square which formula have we applied this is pythagoras formula pythagoras theorem let's put it pythagoras theorem okay mo mo is what we've calculated already because we have here to be a uh, uh, four but let's keep put it down so we have here 14 minus x r squared is equal to ox what is our ox 5 5 squared plus ms is what we're looking for we don't know mx let me there so this we have to be 10 so we have 10 squared equals to 5 squared plus line m x r square okay from here let's continue on this other side okay 10 square will give us 100 and 5 square will give us uh, 25 so if we collect light terms we're going to have this to be 100 minus 25 equals to m x r squared so this will give us 75 equals to m s square and x squared all right we have to take the square root of both sides so if we take the square root of both sides this will give us the square root of like mx r squared equals to 75 uh, the square root good mind you this square root sign will take care of this square so we have dix we go with dix we are now left with our line m x equal to now also 75 can be expressed in salt form dix will automatically give us the square root of 25 times 3. okay if we go by the law of sword then automatically we are going to have this to be um square root of 25 times square root of 3 and square root of 25 5 and so this will turn give us 5 root 3 we have systematically calculated the value of our mx let's go back to our diagram again so we've succeeded in looking for part of what we are asked to look for stn okay any confusion so far I know, but at the same time, before we continue again, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that bell notification button. If you like, carry a hammer and hit it. If you break it, don't worry. YouTube will produce another one, okay? It's just fun, by the way. So let's go back again. Now that we've gotten this part now, how do we now get empty? How do we get empty? Okay, we look at this again. And again, you observe that we are having a 90 degree here. Okay, this side is already known. We've also already calculated for this. And so, we apply Pythagoras theory again. So, we'll go again by saying considering triangle MQT. So, we say considering, considering 
triangle M Q T. Okay, being the right angle triangle, we now say automatically this is our um, longest part, which is the hypotenuse. This is our opposite, and this is our adjacent. So this is going to give us here Q M or M Q line M Q line M Q squared equal to um q t like q t squared plus m t like m t squared okay uh, like i told you we are still applying the same pythagoras theorem so i'm only writing it out here so we look at this again what is our m q m q is given to be four which is our x remember we've calculated for our x here already so this is going to give us here four squared equal to qt qt is two squared plus our mt is not known so it remains there and so four square will give us 16 equal to four uh, plus mt square at the same time if we collect our light terms this is going to give us here 16 minus four equal to line mt uh, squared if we have to subtract this, this is going to give us 12 equal to line mt uh, square. So we have to take the square root of both sides. Square root of both sides. This, we take care of this. Recall the rules of sword I told you of the other time. If we have to express this in sword form, this is the same thing as um, 4 is going to give us here root 4 times 3 okay which is automatically going to give us here 2 root 3 okay so with this we are going to have our empty we have a bracket like empty equal to 2 root 3 cm okay so let's go ahead and look for our xt. So this now implies, implies that like xt, which is what we're looking for, like mx, oh yeah, mx plus uh, line mt. So line mt. Okay, so our line mx, we calculated for line mx already, which is. 5 root 3. So we're going to have this to be 5 root 3 plus the empty. So we'll have this to be 2 root 3. So if we add the two of them, this will give us 7 root 3. And we cannot simplify further. So therefore, our xt, like xt, is equal to 7 root 3. Very, very easy. Very, very simple. If you have learned something special from this video, give it a thumbs up, okay? Give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. At the same time, don't forget to share with a family or friends, uh, those that need this knowledge of mathematics. It will go a long way to help them, okay? Thanks for always being there. My name is Remis Jix Anemo, and this is Online Mars TV, your favorite channel, I guess. Thanks for being there. Bye for now.